Um, when I um, when I ask the question, who you know who is observing, um, and I if I'm observing my feelings, and then I'm trying to ask myself, well, who is observing the feelings? I find that my attention sort of automatically goes to the centre of my body, and I have a feeling of observing from there. Yeah. And I'm thinking that's a kind of a trick because if it's in the body. It, yeah. it must be something in the mind. Yes, this is good. If it is felt like the observing is coming from the, from, from the belly, for instance, this is a thought, no? Yeah. Something also is observing that sensation, that perhaps all of this, perhaps you are identifying where your uh, emotional energy is, is sitting, and it feels like that's where you are, but that's just a thought also. No? Something observes that. So much so that if the feeling shifts and went into your left knee, it was okay, now it's gone into the left knee. So it cannot be that, you see. That's a some phenomenon. So something weaknesses that. And constantly you're being thrown back onto the weaknessing itself rather than what is being watched. Watch the watcher is the invitation, you see. But that seems to be impossible. But is that... Is that no, 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 no. That's already a jumping the gun. Yeah. You know. Really accept this invitation. Something says, observe the observer. And somehow, if you go too much into the intellect with it, with the mind with it, then it becomes very mindy. But if you simply become quiet with that and allow this question to really reveal itself, you see, yeah, something, something happens in that. That which is observing all else, can that itself be observed? What is it? If you say, well, there's nobody there, and there's, then it's almost that you're answering from someone else's comment. Be, be fresh with it. Let this question happen inside like it's the first time you're hearing it. That which is observing all else, can that itself be observed, you see? Test it out. Is there an entity behind the observing, watching? Is there something? prior to observing, that within which even the power to observe is observed. Don't go upstairs, as I say, we just allow that. Don't give any image to it, because that's also another tendency, is to create a kind of a little gremlin or something who is behind the curtains looking at everything. But this only another thought, it cannot be. All this question is throwing you back throwing the attention back before even attention arose, you see. That which watches even attention or inattention. Can it be known? See, can it be known conventionally? Can it be known like objectively, I, I know this? Can it be known? You can answer this question. Where are you looking from? You see? And as what are you looking? Let's remember also that the ego, the idea we have of self or a self-image, is also capable of observing. But as I said, it observes with self-interest, meaning that whatever is going on, it's, it's comparing to see if it benefits me or if it, if it doesn't benefit me. So that's definitely a kind of entity, a kind of person, a kind of... If there is identity, there is an I entity. You see? Find this I entity if you can do it. Is it existing or is it merely a thought? Don't be lazy about it. Why I say this? Because somehow so powerful is this question that when asked, it seems as though something doesn't want you to find out. It's almost like it's going to 
keep swapping this question with, you know, searching for a handbag or something. It's, it will go off onto some other kind of thing. It's like to focus on this question, to hold this question, seem like uh, something goes a bit wobbly. And then I say, what is watching even this wobbliness, you see? And immediately, when recognized, there's a sort of steadiness, you see, that is present. Even that also is watched, you see? And obviously that watching is taking place in you. Now I say, don't give any image to this you. Just feel it. It's, a, it's, not a, it's not the form, because the form also is observed. And the function in the form is also observed. What observes this? You see? And to add more frustration to you, I say, I don't want your answer. Because the answer will only be another concept again. So we are throwing it out. What is important is the question itself. You see. That which observes all else. Observing all else, it's finding out also that all else are just thoughts. What one is observing is just conditioning, habit, education, shapes the way in which you are perceiving. Unless mind names an action as an action, it is not an action, in fact. You can say, oh, how many things are happening? You can say, what? what is your answer? Can there be, can there be a fixed answer? You, see? you can say, uncountable movements are taking place. But someone else might say, nothing is happening. Unless the mind says, an action has taken place, registers it as an action, it does not leave any footprints in the consciousness that an action has occurred. It's just natural nature functioning. So this is already something, something, some selection. Unless it mind arises as I, I do and I don't, I think, I want. Inspect these statements and see if they are, if there's truly an I who wants, an I who does. Go against the grain. Go upstream, be a salmon. Check out, don't just go simply because we have just been told, okay, this is it, and you just accept it, it's like that. Check it out for yourself, you see. Something is saying, from the birth of this body, you may say, something has been saying, I, I, billion, millions and millions of times. But when asked, what is I? Suddenly we develop some stutter. What is I? So for the time being, I call it the great assumption. Until it's clear for you what is contained in that sense, I. Examine it, scrutinize it, probe into it. What is found? So in some beings, this has been very clear. It is discovered that I itself is a thought. Perhaps the first and the most intimate thought. Because something is earlier than I that watches even the sense I.